here we go, getting ready for heat race number one. Again, the top five make it into the feature. The rest that do not make it will be in a last chance race at the end of the qualifying sessions. We are underway. And it looks like John Bauer's getting a great run, but around goes Anthony Pankos and Matt Bedessa in turn number one. Tom Rajkowski also gets caught up in that. We still stay green. And coming around to complete a wild lap number one is John Bowers. So it's Bowers who gets away the lead in the 49. Kim O'Shea, who did not have a really good restart, somehow gets into second. And the battle is on for third between Mike Baldwin and the 15 of Ryan Flores. Mike Baldwin, the animal as he's known, the 15 of Flores may have gone below that yellow line in turn number one to make that pass. He gets by to third. Eric Bowden shots now trying to get around Mike Baldwin, who's smoking as he goes down the front straightaway. In fact, the 23 will get the black flag next time by Matt Bedess, and the 99 is off the pace. He is pulled to the infield. And there goes Mike Baldwin now also coming down to get to the infield after smoking on the racetrack, and the officials have black flagged him. So Bedessa and Baldwin for the moment are out. Four laps to go, and again, it looks like Bauer is starting to run away with this one. Looks like Tim O'Shea may have some problems. He's dropped to the inside and has let Ryan Flores go by for second. Again, the top five finishers automatically get into the feature race. And it will be two laps to go for John Bowers the next time by the start finish line. Bowers running first, Ryan Flores second, Tim O'Shea third, Eric Bodenschatz runs in fourth, and Tom Rushkowski is fifth. A lap and a half to go. White flag here for John Bowers. Doesn't look like the 15 of Ryan Flores is going to be able to run him down. Halfway down the back straightaway now for Bowers. Looking to transfer into that feature race. Later on this afternoon, off turn four, give the checkered flag to John Bowers in heat race number one. Ryan Flores, Tim O'Shea, Eric Bodenschatz, and Tom Rajkowski. Your fast five, and they are locked in to the feature race. Eight laps, the distance. Greg McGowan and son Kyle looking over to the flags there. Green is out. Shannon Manjo challenges from the outside, stock inside. Mike Montano Jr. in car number 12, New York, is in third. Manjo trying to get around stock on the outside. They have him this time. Shannon Manjo takes number 12 to the lead. Stack one second. Third place, Mike Montano as a spinning Gary Burton down the back stretch of bar 59. David Wright runs in the fourth spot at quarter number 19. Then it's Joey Helberg in the 72. Three-time champion Scott Riddleman, not yet in the qualified spot. May get it this time as he powers down the back, challenging White for that fifth spot. Scott Riddleman working the inside of car number 09. He'll get underneath a sliding David White, who's almost in the guardrail off of turn two. He continues on as the Montano team cars run one and two. Halfway, four down, four to go. Janet Manjo leads the way over Mike Montano Jr. And gets real close to third now as Hunter closes in on stack. Scott Riggleman running in fifth. Contact bay down the home stretch. Stack trying to fend off Joey Helper, who dives the 72 to the inside. Keep in mind just five to qualify. Helper goes to third, Riggleman to fourth. 
Here comes Tom Casagrande, the invader from Evergreen Raceway, trying to get by wall regular Robert Stack and into that final top five position to qualify. Out and down the back now, it's Shannon Manjo leading the field off of turn number four. Check this out, Manjo is the winner, Montana will be second. The battle for that qualifying spot, Hellberg is third, Riggleman fourth, Robert Stack qualifies in fifth, fending off invader Tom Casagrande. Young driver who's shown a lot of speed this year, and don't forget about Kevin Flores on the outside of row number two. Top five make it to the feature. We are green here in heat race number three. It's Flores with a great jump on the restart, and around goes Nick Catone off turn number two off the front bumper of Billy Both. We run into the back of him. Catone spins it around. We stay green. Meanwhile, up front, it's Kevin Flores who will lead lap one. Now the battle is on for second as Flores has gotten away to the lead. Billy Boat trying to hold off Aaron Plemons, who takes a look to the inside for the moment in turn number three, but backs off. Two laps go on the board. And Flores still about a three and a half, four and a half car length lead as he works his way into turn number three. Battle between both and Clemens still continues to rage on. That's for the second spot. In fact, Clemens into the back of the 18, going into turn number one, nearly turns Billy both around. 67's got one of the 18, and will take a peek to the inside, side by side for the second spot in turn number three. And the behind those two drivers, as it looks like Clemens will get that spot, is Tim Majak in the 74. He's starting to draw a beat on those two drivers. And of course, the battle for the transfer spot. The 26 of Keith Flores in that white car, trying to hold off the 15 of Brian Osborne and the three of Matt Malachaka, who got a bump to the back of the 15 to move him up the track. It'll be two laps to go this time by the start finish line as the field starts to come up to the slower car of Nick Catone. Catone really off the pace through one and two. Causing the leaders to have to go around him on the outside lane. Flores will get by him. Clemens as well as the white flag is in the air. One more lap for Kevin Flores. Clemens goes up the racetrack and turns one and two. That battle for the transfer spot continues to heat up as Malachaka is in the back of six of Keith Flores. But Kevin Flores is the one who gets the checkered flag as Matt Malachaka spins off turn number four. Looks like he's got a left rear flat on that car. He will be forced to race in the last chance event, last chance qualifier a little later on. Here they come through. Elliot Wall sweeps to the outside as Nick Kimmer goes around. Tagged by Raylan Spears, 56. Cars continue to go, and the green flag stays out. O'Shea leads him off turn four. Nick Kilmer's 52 has a left front flat tire as he stays in the infield. O'Shea leads the way over Wall. Koenig to third, Carpenter fourth, Ricky Collins in fifth to 16. Keep in mind, five cars to qualify, so Joe Monjo, no stranger to victory lane here at Wall Stadium over the years. One spot out right now at car number 26 as he tries to chase down Ricky Collins. John Walker dives to the inside. He'll challenge for third. May have it off turn two. Gets the nose of the 82 by Joe Koenig's number 01. He's side by side for third spot. Carpenter the third, Koenig stays fourth. And now Ricky Collins begins to put pressure on Koenig's number 01. Collins in turn getting pressured by Joe Manjo in the 26 as Brian O'Shea leads the way. Getting real close now for that fourth spot. And still one spot out of the transfer position is Joe Manjo in the 26, trying to make something happen as the two to go comes out. Two to go. Cody in fourth, but getting pressure from Collins, who turns against pressure from Manjo as they race up the back. 
This time by, it's going to be the white flag one to go on Brian O'Shea. Collins to the inside of Koenig, a turn number one. They make contact. Koenig almost sideways gathers it in. Collins dives to the inside. Manjo trying to follow him through to qualify. Down the main straightaway. Checker flag is out for Brian O'Shea. Joe Manjo makes it up to fifth to qualify. Last lap move by Joe Manjo gets the 26 into a qualified spot. Four cars will qualify from the last chance race in today's 40 lap main event. Here they come. Casa Grande leads him into turn one alongside of Brian Osborne. They're almost three wide off the corner. Down the back they come. Osborne edges ahead in car number 15. Going into turn three. Casa Grande fighting back on the inside. Osborne fighting his way around the outside to get the lead. Casa Grande runs in second. Here comes David White on the outside. Keep in mind, just four cars to qualify. Just four as they race out of the corner. Koenig running in third. David White on the outside. Then it's Waylon Spear. Anthony Pankos to be 71. And Nick Kilmer in the 52. Koenig edges into third. White holding on the fourth. Right behind is Waylon Spear in the 56. They make contact coming to turn four. Brian Osborne looking in the mirror as everybody fights behind him. He extends his lead over Tom Casagrande. Cody runs in third. White, your last car in a qualified spot as they come off of turn number four. White invading from Riverhead Raceway in Long Island, fighting to get into the feature race today, fending off Wall Stadium regulars, Waylon Spear in the 56, Anthony Pankos in the 71, and Nick Kilmer in the 52. Now Pankos dives to the inside, trying to get by Spear to try to get a shot at David White. And they make contact at turn number one. Spear up into the guardrail. Pankos makes contact with Matt Malachatka. Fight his way into the 40-lap feature. Jerry Koenig restarting third in the 01. Another invader is David White. In the red and white number 19, competes at Riverhead Raceway on Long Island. He's in fourth. Back as far right now as David White are in a qualified spot for that 40 lap feature. Not yet qualified, 52 Nick Kilmer, 99 Matt Bedessa, 3 Matt Malachaka, 59 Gary Burton, 23 Mike Baldwin. No start. Okay, officials have set the lineup properly. Brian Osborne in the 15 will bring him down for the green. Over the years, multi-generations have raced here at Wall Stadium. Brian Osborne's dad, Glenn Osborne, a longtime racer here at Wall in the modified division and in the full fender classes and going way, way back to the early 1970s when we debuted what was known as the Modern Stock Division. Brian Osborne's late grandfather, Clint Osborne, raced in one here in a Mustang number 15, going way, way back. Brian Osborne continues the tradition. He leads him down. Well, Jerry Koenig dives to second. David White underneath Tom Casagrande in the six is going to get shoved back to at least fifth. As Nick Kilmer gets under, Costa Grande is going to try to fight his way back on the outside, halfway. Well, Nick Kilmer, Wall Stadium regular, determined to get into that 40 lap feature today. He goes to fourth, he's qualified. Matt Podesta will go to fifth, but still not in the qualified spot. Kilmer wants more as he dives under David White. Osborne and Koenig, one and two, as the, the hammer goes spinning and turns one and two. Osborne leads the way, Koenig is second, David White 
is in third. Nick Kilmer fourth. Matt Podesta in fifth spot. One out of qualifying as Kilmer challenges David White down the back. They make contact. White almost sideways. And Kilmer is right there to challenge as they come off the corner. Whoa, there goes. The animal gets spun in the 23. The whole front end coming loose on that car. Further up, it's Whalett Spear in the 56. And the 89, Nancy Riggleman. 52. Breeze out. Osborne and Koenig. Race close down the back. Matt Podesta trying to make a move on the pole close to advance the position. Two to go. Side by side, bumper to bumper as they race down the back. It's still Osborne with 15. Koenig in the 01, right in the 19. Almost three wide off the corner. Into the guardrail goes White and Koenig. The animal goes to fourth as the cars tangle in front of him. Kilmer rides third, Matt Podesta gets to second. Off the corner they come. Ryan Osborne ahead of all the crashing. He takes the win. Podesta is second, Kilmer third. Mike Baldwin finishes fourth. Well, going into the final lap, David White in the 19 and Jerry Cohn. Shannon Monjo on the outside. Green flag is out. We're racing in the factory stock mini vent. Thunder to Thunder, bumper to bumper off the corner. Bowers edges away. Here comes Monjo charging around the outside in car number 12. We're going to get the lead off turn number four. They scramble behind him. Spinning down was Tom Ruskowski. Spinning down to the inside. Come on, Todd. Manjo in the lead on turn four. Manjo pulling away rapidly from Bowers. Here comes O'Shea on the outside, and Ryan Flores in the 15. Yeah, he's been one of the fastest cars all season early. That's the five and feature wins. Brian O'Shea looking to take over second for John Bowers as he battle off a of turn number two. Well, trouble for Mike Montano. He's going to follow a stop up in turn number one. Montano has a problem. Jay set for the restart. Green flag is out. Manjo pulls away. Here comes O'Shea charging to second. Ryan Flores in third. He's looking for more off turn four. Good pull off turn four. Side by side. Bowers on the outside. Flores on the inside with a push from behind from Elliott Wall into number 17. Indeed. Ryan Flores goes to third. Here comes Big L. He'll look for fourth spot and may have it in turns number three and four. Elliott Wall indeed. Inside move by number 17. Good battle for fourth continues between Bowers and Elliott Wall. Looks like Elliott Wall has the upper hand in turn one. He'll take over fourth. Bowers back to fifth. Joey Hilbert on the inside of John Bowers heading down into turn number three. And Hilbert may get fifth off turn four as he charges to the inside. Billy both on the move in car number 18. He's picking up a spot or two. And he gets underneath. He picks up a spot underneath Flores heading down the back. Over the back, Carpenter and O'Shea battle right behind us. Majak and Ricky Collins on the inside of Majak at turn number one. Majo continuing to set the pace, but catching a little bit more each time around is Brian O'Shea. We're actually closing it in. Brian Flores runs third, Elliot Wall fourth, Joey Helberg in fifth, and a tight battle for position behind them. the wall to 55, Jim O'Shea, and spinning, but dirt tracking off turn four, keeping it going, Rob Stack. Good save okay. by Rob Stack in corner number eight as he continues on, contact with him and button shots, spinning cars turn one. Okay, getting
Getting set for the restart. Macho and O'Shea bring out the green again. They race side by side into turns one and two. On the show, looking to pull away, can't quite do it. Charging up by the outside comes Elliot Wall as he bases it out of Ryan Flores. Joey Helper right there with him. Pick up Flores inside. Flores and O'Shea battling for that second spot now. The battle is for third. Elliot Wall up on the outside looking to take it over from Ryan Flores right behind the 72 of Joey Helper. Deep battle on turn four. Elliot Wall working well on the outside. Good challenge Flores again in turn number one using an outside move. Right behind is Helberg in the 72 as O'Shea and Manjo pull away running first and second. Flores charges hard in turn number three, maintains third, and Wall may lose fourth to Joey Helberg. But Elliot Wall continues to fight up on the outside. Helberg off at two. He'll take over fourth. Wall back to fifth. And a challenge on the inside. The 18 of Billy Bolt looking to take over the fifth spot from Elliot Wall. Billy both on the charge of car number 18. He ducks underneath Elliot Wall. And right behind him is John Carpenter in the 82. As they all race into turn number one. Meanwhile, Manjo opens up the advantage again. Leads him into turn number three and four with Brian O'Shea right there. Flores pulls away from Helberg. He now gets pressure from Elliot Wall, Billy Both, and John Carpenter. Three car length lead for Shadow Manjo. Make it four over second place. Brian O'Shea, third. Brian Flores, fourth. Helberg and fifth. Now making the charge to take over the fourth spot from Helberg is Elliot Wall, the 17. O'Shea had gotten close to Manjo, but now Manjo pulling back the lane, number 12. And O'Shea runs in second. Flores a steady third. Elliot Wall challenging underneath Helberg in turn number one. Rob Stack almost at the guard though, there in turn number four. Elliot Wall continues to challenge for the fourth book. Slower car off of turn two. Now to the lower track. But action continues. Flores as they battle off turn two. 
Majo out front, coming out of turn four, as is the second place car, Brian O'Shea. Drifting high off of four, here comes Billy Bolt to the inside of Helberg. Well, diving to the inside, they make contact in turns one and two. Billy Bolt comes out of turn two with the position. Absolutely, one of the up and coming drivers in factory's top competition is the number 18 of Billy Bolt, who totally destroyed the car early this season here at High Bench of Wall Stadium Speedway. Looking good here right now in Turkey Derby action. Both is third, Helper fourth, Johnny Carpenter in fifth spot. And it's Bowers, Manjo, and Flores in that order. Joe Manjo's nephew, Shannon Manjo, the one setting the pace, however, off turn two for Brian O'Shea in second. That last time was Brian O'Shea over Shannon Manjo. It'll be 12 to go this time by. 12 to go for the 12th car of Shannon Manjo. And Shannon Manjo, no doubt, seeing some potential lap cars right in front of him. Keep in mind in the limited late model race, Shannon Manjo's win was taken away when a lap car tangled with him. And he has more lap cars right in front of him now. And as he is, Brian O'Shea is closing back in. O'Shea was fast in the last couple laps. This lap. Faster as well, so O'Shea really. Brian O'Shea Working. has reeled in Shannon Manjo as they race through turns three and four. O'Shea getting real close now off the fourth turn. Ten laps to go, ten to go. For the 12 of Shannon Manjo, Brian O'Shea reeling in each and every lap. Couple laps to reach the slower cars in front of it. East 99 of Odessa Helper. Billy Boat runs in third to battle now for fourth, and Johnny Carpenter. Three to go for Shadow Manjo. This 
last time by. O'Shea right there, Rickleman out of the pitch, right in for the leader, three to go. We're checked out, two laps to go, two to go for Manjo. O'Shea trying to reel him in, but we're running out of time. Manjo staying in command. Slow it for Scott Riggleman, right in front of him here as we get the white flag, one to go. Final time around for Shannon Manjo. It's a two-part battle between himself and second place O'Shea as they go into turn number three. Shannon Manjo staying on the throttle. Brian O'Shea right there, but Manjo will take over the turkey derby win. Brian O'Shea is second. Julian Oberg will be third. Billy both in a fine run for fourth. John Carpenter in for fifth. Well, Shannon Manjo, after a busy day of racing, takes down the win and gets a tap from behind.